Welcome to the NAB Show. This is Fred Morgenstern. I'm Product Director for Neutrik USA. We want to talk this year about Ethercom. We've got three different Ethercom options. It's really important for you to understand this. We have the Cat5, Cat5e Ethercom, which is our original line, which you probably know very well. We've had a Cat6 line for a number of years as well. And now, for about a year, we've had a Cat6a line. So let's talk about these differences. Cat5 is for really up to one gig transmission. You'll use that for your Dante networks, most of your audio uh, networks. Cat6 and Cat6a goes up to 10 gigs. So this comes into play when you're doing audio and video and mixed signal networks. Um, the Cat6a line is an exciting one for us because it's easy to terminate. It's got easy to terminate cable carriers. Um, it's also got an IP65 rated option for use outdoors. Uh, really a terrific option. On the rear of the chassis connector, you can terminate with either standard RJ45 connectors, so super easy. Just plug an RJ45 in the rear and you're done. Or you can uh, lay the wires out and put them into an insulation displacement-based connector. So we have a lot of different connectorization options for CAT6A. Um, again, terrific solution for up to 10 gig, up to 100 meters. The CAT6A line will intermate to our CAT5 line. So be careful when you're installing these to label clearly this is a CAT6A connector, this is a CAT5 connector, so that you don't accidentally mix up your networks. You don't have that issue with our CAT6 line, again, the third of our lines. The CAT6 line has a unique geometry, so you don't have to worry about that intermating. Anyway, to summarize, CAT5, CAT6, CAT6A. Choose it first based upon speed, then based upon uh, your geometry considerations. Uh, we think we're going to have some solutions for you here for these category um, problems you might have that are really going to work well. Thanks very much.